Hi, this is David. Today we're talking about Azure Active Directory users. Now, I've already shown you in episode 136 how to add an Azure Active Directory user, but that's actually creating one that's internal to the Active Directory. What I want to show you now is how to invite an external user to be part of an Azure Active Directory and use some of the resources. And the way I do that is first I go to the portal, log in as administrator, and I go to Azure Active Directory. It's right here. And there, see right down here under Manage, there is Users. Open up that. That's by Users Blade. It lists all of these users on here. And I can click on New User. And I already showed you this Create New User. Now I'm going to show you Invite External User. Click on that, and it brings up this dialog here. Invite User. And down here are the options that I need to fill in. I'll give it a name. I'll give it my name, actually, David Giard. I'll give it my email address right here. Right there, uh, and first name and last name. Not all of these are required. Um, if you want to have a personal message, it is going to send an email to that email address. So you might want to put a, a personal message there. You are awesome. Join our AAD, whatever. Um, and if you want to, in advance, add them to a specific group here. You can do so. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but you can. Same thing with roles. They're, they'll by default be a user role, but you could make them a member of some other role as soon as they accept your invitation. Um, here it says block sign in. That might be useful if you're not really ready for them to start using your to accessing your resources yet. Maybe they're not going to start. Uh, maybe it's a contractor, and they're not going to start until the first of next month or something like that. You can set a block right here. I'll say no. They can start using it right away. Uh, and this is kind of metadata about the user. None of this is required, but it's useful if you want to do, for example, set up conditional access policies. It's really helpful to know that because you can set filters on things like the location. So I might want to say this person is in the United States, and then maybe specific policies that apply to the United States. Same thing with this, the job title or um, whatever. So job title is uh, just a uh, good guy. How about that? It's a good title. Department is uh, the, uh, so that's the Department of Redundancy. Department is my favorite department. Company name is Microsoft. And if they have a manager, you could also select that right there, but it's not required. I'm not going to do that right now. And then invite. And after a few seconds, it should generate an invitation and send out an email to that email address that I specified. Now I happen to put my email address in there. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And I can see that there is, in fact, an email from me or for to me from the administrator and from right here. There's information about that, and there's a big link right in the middle. It says accept invitation. And when I do so, it opens up this. It tells me what will happen if I do this. Do I really do I agree to all this stuff? I'll say yes. And now I have access to it, and I can log in to that Active Directory with these credentials. Let's open up a new tab. Go to portal.azure.com. And now, instead of logging in as the admin, I'll log in with my own email address. And here I am. Now, I don't have any permissions. But I did, I was able to log in, so I really can't see a whole lot here, but I can log in with that email address because I've been invited. What I need to do now is the administrator will have to give me access to applications. But in this video, I've shown you how to invite an external user into your Azure Active Directory. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.